Well, hello, Harrison. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How I have you? brought our film critic and our biggest Star Wars fan, Scott Movie Mance, and he's so excited we literally have to buckle him in. Oh, <laughs> buckle him in. Touch it, Liz. <laughs> I'll let you begin, Scott. Okay, listen. First question, how, how's the movie? Pretty darn good. Great. Maybe a little long. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take long. I don't care how long it is. No, it's, it, uh, I, I think you'll be, you will be impressed. Wow. You'll so be exciting. impressed with the new young members of the cast. You'll be uh, gratified uh, with the familiar uh, elements which have been uh, carefully thought through. Uh, you'll love the scale of the thing, the power, the energy of it. I think it's a really good movie. But what do I know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to start things off by reading what Rolling Stone, how they described you, the best-looking 73-year-old 73 73-year-old 73 man on this or any planet. His features are sharp as ever, his body ridiculously trim. <laughs> 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 makes you feel good, right? Excellent. <laughs> what I, I mean, how does that make no, you feel? it doesn't when you... <laughs> make me feel good. It just reminds me how bizarre, bizarre, bizarre it is out there. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is true. 30 years, over 30 years, and here we are now. I, I know, it just seems so crazy, but what was it like? You no, know, it seems like 30 years ago. <laughs> but, but the thing is, when you were doing Return of the Jedi, you lobbied to have Han Solo killed off. Well, but a, why? I didn't know what I might be doing in 30 years. I figured what is, we were only planning three, only knew about three. Um, I had, uh, this was the third. What is the best utility of this character, I thought. Mm -hmm. Since he had been brought through this process, uh, he had become, he started out, uh, you know, as a as a an Uber, a space Uber man, <laughs> yeah. you know, who just happened into a job, fell into these uh, the clutches of these people, and uh, and and had resisted the mythology, and and then had fallen in love with the princess and gone through various. Uh, uh, adventures with the other members of the cast had been exposed to their belief and their reality. What better use of this character could there be than for the most uh, resistant member to fall into belief and then to sacrifice him himself uh, in, to their advantage? Yep and lend some gravitas mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to the But Lucas thing. was opposed to that. Yes. Why, was, why didn't he see the significance of that? Because he knew the value of old man toys. <laughs> <laughs> Curious, you know, um, value in older men as toys. <laughs> Harris, break apart. <laughs> Harris, I want to talk about Han Solo's original costume and how you kind of said, this is ridiculous. You tore off some of the things that you didn't think belonged and you recreated what we now know as the Han Solo. Yeah, you helped shape the character. No, I just, uh, there was a big blue collar, powder blue collar, and I said, is this, looks like this is just basted on, right? And they said, yes, it's just basted on. I said, Good. <laughs> I, Don't they eat just it. tossed it. But uh, I was young and brash and uh, and uh, inappropriate then, and I'm old and brash and inappropriate now. And it works. And it works. <laughs> well, what, what impressed you the most about this new cast? You know, John Boyega, Daisy Ridley, uh, uh, Oscar Isaac. Uh, they're they're terrific. They're, they're, they, they make a great contribution. Um, uh, they have a variety of experience in the, in the, uh, in the job. Um, Oscar Isaac's quite experienced. Mm -hmm. uh, John Boyega has got uh, a bit of, uh, of experience. Daisy Nunn. And they have all given amazing performances. They're, you know, the, 
JJ did a very good job of selecting the actors for the part and then really with them created really wonderful performances. And just to be reunited with Carrie and with Mark again, I mean, does it, is it one of those things where you just sort of like picked right up again or to, to get reacquainted? What, what's interesting is the story gave us a, a, a matrix to understand what had happened in the intervening years. And so we met with that, you know, knowledge in our minds. And, um, and it's great to see them again mm -hmm. and, to, again, to spend some time with them. But the story imposed a certain uh, nature of the relationship now different to, to what it had been before. Because oh, one of and, the iconic moments yeah. of the Star Wars series, all six films, came from Empire Strikes Back when Han and Leia embraced. They had that kiss on the asteroid field in the Falcon. You know, can we expect some rekindling of the romance between Han Solo and General Leia? Um, we, I'm, I would not want to spoil the experience of, uh, of uh, being, of learning this, these details mm. in the theater with music and the lights off and popcorn at hand. <laughs> it's really better not to talk about it. <laughs> Last things. question. Last yeah. question. What made you say, yes, you had to be in this movie? Was it an extra thousand dollars a week? <laughs> <laughs> But really, what made Harrison Ford say, yes, I want to be in the final Star Wars? The, the quality of the ambition, the, the choices that had been made, the script that had been crafted. J.J. as a director who I, I've known for some period of time and, and uh, whose work I did admire. Um, <clears throat> the fact that I didn't have another job. <laughs> yeah, well. Sure, uh, sure. All of that came together. <laughs> I it find seemed that hard like to believe. a good idea at the time. And it still is a great idea.